let's make some egg drop soup. We are gonna use, I have a cup of canned mushrooms, a cup of uh, water chestnuts, we're gonna use some garlic, and three eggs, some chicken stock, soy sauce, some green onions, two slivers of garlic, uh, sorry, that's not garlic, two slivers of ginger, some firm tofu, and we will also need some cornstarch. We're gonna start by adding our chicken broth into our pot. Make sure you have a deep enough pot um, for this soup, because you want it to be, obviously have enough room for it to boil and um, for all the ingredients to be added in it. We're gonna add our ginger into the chicken broth so that it flavors the broth um, as it boils. While our broth is boiling, we're gonna go ahead and chop up our onions. We're gonna um, start getting everything ready for the process. Let's also cube up our uh, tofu. We're gonna go ahead and get our eggs in a bowl and we're gonna beat them. The beauty of the soup is that while the broth boils, you can get all your side prep done. Okay, our soup is boiling, or not soup, our broth is boiling, so I'm gonna fish out our garlic because we don't need it in the soup after it's done. So we're just gonna fish it out. Okay, so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take a ladle of the broth and I'm gonna add it into a container so we can make our cornstarch slurry. We're gonna add half a teaspoon of uh, cornstarch to our chicken broth to make a slurry. We're gonna pour it in and we're gonna let it thicken so it'll come back to a boil. Okay, let's add our egg. So you wanna give it a stir before you add the egg in it. And I've already beaten my eggs. I did not add any seasoning to the eggs. You don't need it. Um, you will taste the soup um, for flavor before we finish. Okay, it's boiling, let's taste for salt. Be careful, it's hot. It's perfect, I don't need to add anything else. All right, at this point, we're gonna add our mushrooms, our water chestnuts, our tofu, and our green onions. I had mentioned we were gonna use garlic earlier, that was my bad, we will not be using garlic in this recipe.